have not posted in quite some time. Um, we've had some personal issues, personal things going on, so I have not been able to really um, get to the garden to even do any real work. You can see up here my flower pots. I haven't even planted anything in those yet. Um, it is June though, and I wanted to give you a quick tour, I guess, so you can see what my garden looks like. Thank God for the years of work I've already put in because this year they're looking pretty good with minimal, you know, help from me. So we'll start. So this is the back of the house looking to the front. Last year I sort of redid this garden bed. Um, the yarrow is in full bloom and it's quite tall and gorgeous. I think it looks great. That's this. Down here we have a rose bush which I do have a bug that like bugs are eating it I guess. Um, and at this point it's not in bloom. There are the dead flowers but it's still It'll come back. That's Scalardia or blanket flower. Um, <laughs> I actually mulched with some grass clippings because it was really, really hot and it was getting overly dry, so I just picked up the grass clippings and put it on there. But the yellow you see are evening primrose. Um, come over here, and this is bee balm. I'm so excited, and it looks beautiful. That's a wasp, I believe. Uh, but I'm very happy that it's growing well here. This is a type of Coreopsis back here another time and some more yarrow in the back. Um, but for not taking care of it and putting down some grass mulch, I think it looks okay, not too bad. And still more to come because these are the purple iatris. Those will start flowering soon. I have some coneflower in here as well. They will grow and the sedum in the front will send some flowers come over to this side which is very very overgrown and crowded but it does create some beautiful color here we have this butterfly was it butterfly weed i think Asclepia um, tuberosa and we've got the evening primrose in the back knockout roses there and the numerous cone flower that self seeds and grown like crazy so it does um, there is a lot of color going on in here. I also have the Midnight um, May Salvia in the back that are giant and they're just about flopping over now. That's the center of the bush. Another one right next to the hibiscus here and that one's also falling apart open. And here is my very big dinner plate hibiscus, but there are little things that are eating the leaves. Look at them, they look skeletal. So I did spray it with some type of a um, thing to repel the bugs. So hopefully that'll help. You can see the center buds still look okay. Um, so hopefully now it'll just keep growing and not get eaten out, I suppose. Going more midnight May salvia, the orange butterfly. It's very windy here today. I love it. Coneflower, more coneflower and coreopsis. Rose, that's a knockout rose, and this here is an elm tree growing. And then I believe this one is a black walnut tree. So in the fall, I'm going to pull those guys out and put them somewhere else. Transplant. As I said before, you can see up here that I do not have any plants planted in there. I'll take a step back so you can see now we're coming around to the front bed. I've got another tulip poplar tree growing in the garden. I seem to have trees growing a lot, which needs to be transplanted. 
more things in the front. Here are my lilies that I love, these super tall Asiatic lilies and the spinner. I did not take it down this year, so it's been up all winter. It's been sitting there spinning away, but luckily we did not have too much snow, so it was okay. Got the Stella de Oro lilies in the front, regular Asiatic lilies, some pink ones in the back. If you come around here, one thing I did do this year was I dug out a rose bush that was here. I dug it out and I transplanted it to the front. It was just not doing very well, a little too overcrowded. I've got these um, Virginia spiderwort things here that just flopped all over it. And here's another hibiscus that's also being eaten. I think these little things are garlic, I think. We'll see. Pink lilies. Beautiful red Asiatic lilies. I love these. So pretty. And it's as tall as I am. They're about five feet tall. Come around here, these grasses. This is um, a blue type of grass that I planted from seed actually. And it just, I let it go to seed as it is, as you see. And I love to see them moving in the wind. It creates this beautiful effect. And all the Stella de Oro lilies. At this point, I don't think in many of my roses are in bloom. Um, I will show them to you though. They already bloomed and kind of having a bit of a, like I, I have to deadhead them. Another thing I haven't really gotten out to do. Um, but they will, they will bloom again, I'm sure. They always do. There's my shadow. Come around here. These are some irises. lilies because I love them. Take a quick peek in here. You'll see. Being eaten. And then these beautiful lilies. Something ate this. I assume it's the deer. He might have. We have one with antlers who kind of comes in and pokes around our bed here in the garden. Brings me back out to the front of the bed. Here's the middle bed, and Sophie's out for a walk as well. Hi, Sophie. Pretty kitty. She's about 18 years old now, taking her time in the garden. Last year, I, I sorry about my shadow. Last year, I transplanted a lot of Coreopsis to the front here because I had so many, but it makes it very pretty and full, so I like it. We are waiting on the purple Leatris to flower, and then behind that, the gladiolas. I do have some sunflowers in the back as well. But we'll get over here to this cone flower. Uh, it's so tall. I would say that's about three feet tall. Um, purple cone flower. Focus. Looks pretty. And then this rose bush is the Lady Gardener, uh, Dave Austin plant or type. And last year, this bush was eaten by Japanese beetles, and it didn't look like it was going to do very well, but it has come back and it's looking good. Here's another purple cone flower. I'll just walk here so you can see my bed from the side. What I see when I come back here to garden. Got a boxwood, more purple liatris. These are all sunflowers mixed in. Another cone flower and a boxwood in the back. Spin up. See the front. So when I stand on my porch, that's what I see. I do like the cone flower, though, these tall, tall ones. Quite pretty, and you know, the bees, the butterflies, that stuff, they like them too. And then here we are. This is my front, front flower bed. This Dave Austin rose back here is called uh, Gertrude Jekyll Climbing one. It was absolutely flushed with pink flowers about a month ago. Um, I just, I did actually deadhead it because it's easy to just come out here and do it. Um, so right now there are no flowers on it, but I think I'll get a second flush. This one is called a pumpkin rose. It starts off pretty orange and then fades to this, fades to this peach color. Uh, I still like that one though. It looks good. This peony bush was just had so many flowers on it this spring. 
they've all died and these teeny tiny buds are still flowering. It's a little crazy. So I'm enjoying it. I'll take it while I can. We've got a small lily here. We also have more evening primrose and more coreopsis. And again, no weeding really done, just cutting off dead flowers. And you can see my garden looks crowded, but still pretty, pretty good for minimal effort on my part. Sorry about all the wind. that is it for my flower beds that are up against our brick wall. A lot going on there, but a lot of color, which is nice. And so this year we also planted some holly bushes along the tree line between the church parking lot and us. They're small, they're Nellie Stevens holly bushes, um, about three feet tall, but they're supposed to grow fairly fast. So we're hoping they will do that. So let me show you those guys. There is the line of them, all the way down. Starting with this one, which just so happens to be surrounded by goldenrod, which I'm super excited about. Uh, they look pretty decent. I actually bought them online and was not sure what to expect from fastgrowingtrees.com. Uh, they turned out okay though. I would say this is about three feet tall. And they've been in the ground now maybe maybe six weeks. We actually had our uh, had someone come out and plant them for us. Um, but yeah, so that's there to give us a little bit of privacy. We hope it starts growing tall, fills in a bit. There's the tulip poplar tree, which grew in my garden and I planted there. This bed I grew, oh, I grew it planted last year. I'll take you over there to show you. Okay, so again, <laughs> have not done any work in this. This is pretty bad. I've got this like Shasta Daisy and the yarrow is growing pretty nicely here. This year the biennial um, evening primrose, uh, the one that's native to here, didn't come back. Um, you know, they'll grow next year. Uh, but I do have a little bit of lavender in there, some coneflower. The little cherry trees that I planted in the back did come back and the lily did as well, which is kind of pretty. So again, overgrown, not looking so hot, but it does add a pop of color here. And the deer did not eat the hosta, which I'm quite surprised by. Uh, just so you guys can see it from all the angles. Yep. And now I have this bed, which is way overgrown. I have to admit, I am quite pleased and proud of my mushrooms. I don't even know what kind they are, but I think they look really cool on the tree random things growing in here, which I have planted, a lot of things planted, I just did not pull out weeds, like yes, some teeny tiny lilies, these are about six inches tall, they're so cute. You know, when I actually weed this bed and take care of it, it looks really nice. <laughs> so, I will do that at some point, I'm sure, you know, when the season's over, haha. <laughs> Apparently one of these tall lilies got planted in here too. But last year there was a lot of red clover and I did kind of forage or harvest those and make tea out of it, which was delicious. Uh, new for me anyway, but I've got that. And that's my front garden beds. Uh, I will take you over to show you the one behind the truck on that side and then that'll be it. So before we go over to the half moon flower bed. I want to show you a rose that I have planted next to this magnolia bush. Uh, it's quite pretty. I want to move it to the front of the fence where we can see it better. And there it is. It's a 
probably all done blooming this particular flower, but it's so full, so big. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> it's not focusing, sorry. Right next to that, I go over here. My bird bath needs to be fixed. It's falling over. And so this geranium I have in the front has just about taken over. It is, I don't know, this is like really wide right here. Uh, but they're so pretty. I've got these irises growing. This is a Dave Austin rose, also a lady of shallot. This one has some flowers more to the back. I have to step over and get in there so that I can deadhead these, but I haven't quite yet. Um, let's give you a quick look. The irises are so pretty. Guys, you see, I have not, I haven't even deadheaded this uh, sedum or anything. It still has seeds on it. It's all overgrown. There's an oak tree in my flower bed again. Uh, these were peonies. And now this rose bush, which said it would only grow two to three feet tall, two to three feet wide is officially bigger than that. This one branch, branch, if I hold it up, that's about four feet tall. Not that you can see that or tell the difference, but it is quite tall. Anyway, ow, prolific flower, sends a lot. And it's falling over, gotta figure that out. I had a lot of foxglove growing in the back here. Uh, they're all almost going to seed now, so I do need to sort of cut those. I can send some more flowers. Here are the roses. So pretty. And more irises. And this is a Rose of Sharon, which will send white flowers. This is a Rose of Sharon over here that will send purple flowers. I've got a butterfly bush here, which has buds on it, but no flowers yet. And right back here is my kitchen window. That's where I sit and look out at the garden, this half moon garden. And it's very pretty, especially when it's super windy. And so that's it. That's my garden unkempt and haven't done much. It's my flag that also needs to be changed. It's shredding a little um, for this year because I haven't been able to get to the garden. Here are the new things I planted. A rose, which I dug out from the other garden. And then this is a little baby hardy hibiscus, which I planted um, by seed actually, and it grew. So I'm excited about that. And yeah. That's all she wrote for now. Oh, I do have a lemon tree as well. Way up there on the bench. And it has lemons on it. I am so excited. I'll just take you guys up there and show you my lemons. I'm sure some of you probably already have, have grown this stuff, but I've never grown it. So I'm very excited to see that. Oh, this one was also covered in red roses. I did deadhead back bush. Here, I got it. Here's my little lemon, so tiny. I did plant um, a few vegetables as well down there, um, like I did last year. But this is what I've got for now. Once again, thank you for watching and joining me and taking a tour of my unkempt garden that's overgrown, but I think still looks decent. Um, you know, I do appreciate all you guys just uh, tuning in, <laughs> listening to me talk about my flowers, uh, pet peeve or a passion, I should say, not pet peeve of mine. All right. Thanks everyone. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.